Hey guys, welcome back to the Gospel Angeles. I'm Thomas, and today we are also going to continue one more topic about the Passover. Today we are going to discover Sabbath, and not just any Sabbath, High Sabbath. So to this, we need to read one more scriptures, and then we will understand what is this Sabbath has to do with Passover. John 19:31. Therefore, because it was the preparation day, that the body should not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and they might be taken away. Now, what is this high day? High day is also called high Sabbath. Now, it is not just regular Sabbath which happen on every Saturday, but this Sabbath is a annual sabbath which the high day here or the high sabbath here means the first day of unleavened bread which is the high sabbath you have to refer to the book of numbers to see that if you have been following my videos regarding the passover you might know that the day that jesus died is the day of preparations of passover now looking in these scriptures you will see that a eh, the day of preparations the next day is the high sabbath but i thought that according to number the day of preparations is the 13th day the 14th day should be the passover and the 15th day should be the high sabbath or the first day of unleavened bread why then in the scripture it is say that the preparation day which is the day of preparation of Passover, which is Jesus had died on that day, and then the next day straight away jump to the first day of unleavened bread. And what happens with the Passover? So the only logic explanation is that the Passover is coincide with the first day of unleavened bread. But if it's coincide, means that the 14th day is the Passover, the 14th day is also the first day of unleavened bread which is it not contradict to numbers are they not following the laws for this we will need to look into the history of the Israelite in 2 chronicle chapter 30 and 35 it shows that the a brief history of Israelite regarding keeping the Passover as you might know if you read this entire chapter you will find that Israelite has not been keeping the Passover, not to say the first day of unleavened bread, the high Sabbath. So the king decided that, hey, that's too long for us not to keep the commandments of the law. We should start keeping it. And to make it simple, the king says that we should keep this together, meaning that Passover and also the first day of unleavened bread together because at that time the amount of people that wanted to keep this festival are too great and there are no time to prepare for all the offering for the Passover the first day of unleavened bread so the king actually in a word simplify and put two days together as one therefore you will see in this chapter in John just now that we have read that the day of preparation of Passover is that day and then the scriptures say that the next day is the high Sabbath that's why according to this chronicle you will see that this development of a historical change leads to what is written in this John so there you have it there are actually no biblical contradictions between scriptures we have to understand the history behind if we found any biblical contradictions. Right? Thank you, guys, for watching the Gospel Angelus. See you next time. Bye! Cause our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven.